Uh, one of my fears as I went, as we went from charts to, to EMR was I didn't want to lose that rapport that I had with my patients. I didn't want to be, you know, with my head uh, back to them looking at a PC. Uh, yeah, okay, and I'm sitting there typing away. And I lost none of that. In fact, I think my rapport with patients have, been, have enhanced in a lot of ways using an EMR, mainly because we carry these little uh, laptop uh, tablets. And uh, a lot of times what I'll do as I'm sitting with my diabetic is we're sitting right next to each other. We've got the computer in front of us. He's seeing exactly what I'm doing. We're talking. He's looking at the labs in the way that I am. And I think it just really enhances the rapport. And, and, the, and, the, I, I don't, and, and granted, I'm typing the whole time we're talking or I'm tapping uh, using uh, these notes and we'll show you how that works. So here's some features of the templates that we use. Um, and granted, in primary care, uh, we're on the front lines, meaning we have to see syncope, we have to see uh, you know, kidney failure. We're, even though we're not nephrologists, we have to see chronic kidney disease. We need to see an abscess, and there's so many variety, and so we need a large volume of templates, and, and practice partners have enabled us to do that. We have, we have, there's several different types of templates. We have some that are chronic disease specific, such as diabetes, and we're gonna show you the diabetes template. Um, but also we want symptom specific visits. You know, when someone comes in with uh, abdominal pain, I may end up at diverticulitis, or I may end up with uh, peptic ulcer disease, or I may end up with an abdominal wall strain. I didn't want to have a template for diverticulitis because as I start that visit, I don't know where I'm going. And so I wanted to have a template that was going to allow me to get multiple places in terms of diagnostics. Um, and uh, so we'll show you that example. Um, so for example, as someone's coming along, I'm asking Daisy Duck here about her abdominal pain. We can uh, ask specifics and, um, you know, and again, this is what I'm doing with my stylus on my PC tapping away as she's giving me answers. Um, and uh, when you skip down, we can, the exam, you can document that same way. Um, so it, it already pulls in, for example, you see there, it pulls in her past medical history. I don't have to say that she has diabetes. It already does that because it, the, the note, when you opened it, told it to pull that information in. Um, smoking, you can see it already pulls in that she's a current smoker. I don't need to ask about her smoking history. But I if know she, she quit. smokes. I can read this. Yeah, you can, you can put more details about it. You can update her out. If she's no, no longer smoking, you can say, okay, she's a former smoker now, and that's going to change the note in a different area like the dominoes. You know, we don't have to go back to her social history and say she doesn't longer smoke. It already does that for us, um, uh, and so on and so forth. So uh, it gives you a lot of flexibility in your documentation. Now, uh, it, it already pulled in the dip UA, so the medical assistant knows that for abdominal pain, we want a dip UA done. So you can see when the note opens up, it already pulls in that uh, UA result for us. Um, and then if you don't mind showing me some of the more assessments. So you can see, for example, if we tap on some of these, uh, if it was left lower quadrant, constipation, ovarian cyst, so on and so forth, we have lots of diagnostic options. And you know, I think one of the things that I say the most time on is when I used to finish with a patient, I'd sit with that darn ICD-9 book trying to find my right code. You know, in primary care, we don't have that 20 list that we always go to. You need about 4,000 ICD-9 codes. And, and so with that, I have an option to go right to, and it's just, it's really saved us a lot of time. Um, and on the plan, you can uh, spe uh, pick specific medications. You can send a message. That little, uh, when she clicked on that Paula there, that's gonna send a message to Paula when I close my note that that urine that she did needs to be sent for a culture. Um, and uh, again, abdominal pain ER precautions, if you don't mind clicking on that, Dr. Mullins. Um, that is a phrase that I might say over and over that I don't have to write out anymore. It's already written there. Um, and again, this is so quickly customizable. If you wanted to go up and say, you know, I don't like the way Fishbeck writes that abdominal ER precautions. I like to say this. Go up to the quick text and edit it. It takes you about 30 seconds. Um, and we have our built-in e-prescribed stuff so that we're, if it's a Medicare patient, you know, we can say, oh, I did this or I did that. Where I did that. And again, so, that will get you money back from Medicare at the end of the year uh, when you have. And we have an this e if we're doing if we're doing a plan if we're doing it on time we have this in all of our templates too whether we. Oh, spend exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Time. So if you're if you're in a document mm -hmm. by time, you can just click on that and then you don't have to document as mm -hmm. much. So again, it depends on how how uh, meticulous you like to uh, document. But myself, I do 
I do a hybrid. I'm probably 80% tapping because I'm tapping most of the time. But you know, in primary care, when you get down to this is an abdominal pain template. Now, let's just say they say, Doc, can you look at this mole too? Uh, you know, because in primary care, we always get the oh by the ways. And so you uh, you can. That's when I am free texting a short amount. Now, I, I may not document to the detail that I did the abdominal pain because two reasons. One. Uh, if, if the issue isn't that not that important from a documentation standpoint, but also I'm getting my coding elements from the abdominal pain. Another thing is just a, a bo oh by the way. So I might do a quick free text about that mole, and in the exam I'm going to have the ability to document that you know that mole finding. And so I think it's a hybrid. I think most of you can do with uh, with tapping if your templates are built that way. Uh, but you, you also can either free text or um, so you have some flexibilities.